Hey everyone, my name is Eric Hopkins, aka Joe. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, Star Wars and Lucasfilm has released a new trailer for their upcoming animated short series, Tales of the Empire. So, let's check that out real quick and I'll let you guys know what I think about it. So, here we go. Why do you seek Imperial favor? Nice. Years ago, my people were all but destroyed. Okay. My anger gives me strength. It is that strength I offer the Empire. Offer accepted. I, I, I love this. I'm here to present you with an opportunity, Paris. Oh, okay, wow. Just be glad you're not a Jedi anymore. Your uh. path is set, Morgan Elspeth. I will fulfill my destiny. Oh wow, we got the Grand Inquisitor back. Mercy only breeds defeat. But I will help you overcome this weakness. Attack! So many thoughts you right said now. The Empire would help to change things. Everything comes at a cost. I know with Oka. Well, uh, yeah. My world has been burning. Oh, we got Grievous back, too. Since I was a child, you cannot stop what has begun. Now, you must face yeah. one final test to join us. It is time you meet your new master. Oh boy. Okay, okay. Get a little more insight into the Inquisitors. Long right. live the Empire. Nice, 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 nice. All right, so yeah, I mean, so a couple years ago in 2022, Star Wars released a series of original animated shorts on uh, Disney Plus, and it was entitled Tales of the Jedi, which did a really good job, in my opinion, of filling in gaps of certain stories like, you know, Ahsoka, uh, as well as Count Dooku, some of his younger days uh, with young Qui-Gon Jinn uh, and things like that. They, they did a great job with like exploring characters like Yaddle from Episode One. Uh, the Phantom Menace, who we really never got to see again in the series. So they did a, a great job, like I said, just going back in and filling in some gaps for some certain characters that never really got the proper uh, storytelling that, they, that or the proper ending that they should have gotten. Uh, and it looks like this is going to be more of the same, although this time it's going to be from the perspective of the Empire. Uh, so obviously we're getting a lot more when it comes to the Inquisitorious here, uh, maybe about how they even go about recruiting uh, members. The, the the member that they have recruiting in this video is Barris Offee. And if you've seen Star Wars The Clone Wars, you know Barris Offee was uh, arrested uh, for betraying the Republic uh, and the Jedi and things like that. Uh, so And then once the Empire took over, we really never got a, a resolution as to what happened to her character. Uh, and we also got uh, obviously a big tease about what's going on with Morgan Elsbeth, who was helping Grand Admiral Thrawn in the Ahsoka series on Disney Plus and even had a little bit uh, against Ahsoka in uh, The Mandalorian Season 2. Uh, so it, there, it's tying everything together, uh, just, 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 just like some of the backstory that led into those events. So it, it, it's a good thing to add to the Star Wars lore here, just these little stories uh, to, just to kind of give us a little bit more detail of what's been going on. Um, with some of these characters that we didn't actually get uh, fleshed out all the way in other projects. Uh, so, yeah, I think this is great. Uh, the animation is out absolutely outstanding. Um, Star Wars animation has come a long way since the original 2008 uh, Clone Wars movie, uh, which a lot of people hated at the time. But the Clone Wars series especially has become one of the most beloved piece of, pieces of Star Wars lore. And if you've not checked it out just because it's animated, you're really missing a lot of great content. Uh, Star Wars animation from Star Wars Rebels, uh, the Clone Wars, and... And the Bad Batch have been outstanding. Um, Star Wars Resistance is kind of an animated series. I'm kind of like, you can kind of skip in the sequel trilogy era. But some of these other ones have been absolutely incredible. And uh, Tales of the Jedi and Tales of the Empire are just adding to that. And I would love to see more of Star Wars just to continue to build out their storytelling in the animated world because the animation is just that good. And uh, there's just certain things you can do in animation that you cannot do in live action. I think Star Wars has taken 
heavy advantage of that. Uh, we got General Grievous back in this trailer as well. Looks like we're going to explore more, like I said, about Morgan Elsbeth's backstory because she was part of the Night Sisters, and uh, her her uh, you know her her race was basically wiped out by Count Dooku and General Grievous and, and the entire Separatist movement back in the Clone Wars. So again, just kind of showing that origin of Me Morgan Elsbeth, where she come from, and of course when we get into the Inquisitorius now, we're going to get Darth Vader in this as well and his involvement and in, in, in forming the Inquisitors uh, to go after Jedi who were not taken care of in Order sixty six. So yeah, this is great. And to see Grand Admiral Thrawn uh, again early on uh, before he took uh, some power in Star Wars Rebels and then before he got exiled and the whole the whole uh, storyline there uh, that led into the Ahsoka series as well. And it's going to be leading into a, a movie that, that is centered around Thrawn as the main villain, I think, uh, moving forward here with Dave Filoni and uh, John Favreau and the whole Mandalorian storyline is going to kind of culminate in that giant event, which I think, again, if they do properly, they could actually build out this story to make it a, a a trilogy of films if they really wanted to and call it the the Thrawn trilogy which is which uh, if you if you can adapt the books uh the original Thrawn novels into uh, a, a series of films you can have a great sequel trilogy in between episode six and episode seven uh so that would be a, an outstanding thing for star wars uh, as well if i if they do it correctly i would absolutely love to see that you could even bring in luke skywalker uh you know the luke that everybody wants to see not the one that was in the uh, last jedi and things like that and you don't have to erase the canon or anything like that you just have to kind of do something in between six and seven to where it shows luke at the height of his powers that everybody really wanted to see him uh, building his temple uh even though we know what's going to happen to it and you could you know you could bring in like uh we we got so many cool things you could do with cgi now you can bring in the younger han solo uh princess leia and the original uh og cast you can kind of do that as well uh so they they did a great job with it with luke skywalker and the mandalorian series so you could definitely do that uh, in the movies too so i hope that's kind of what they do and of course, you know, finish out the stories with Ahsoka, the Mandalorian, uh, Boba Fett, and all those uh, characters in that timeline as well. The the, the Rebels crew uh, with Hera and uh, Ezra uh, Bridger and all the all the like. So I think they could do that. It will be very cool. But yeah, what do you guys think though about Tales of the Empire? Are you guys looking forward to this original animated series? Uh, I know it's a series of shorts, usually about fifteen minutes long a piece. So. If you don't know exactly the, the the format of it, I highly recommend you check out Tales of the Jedi on Disney Plus right now. You can check it out over there. Uh, but comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of Tales of the Empire. I'm extremely excited for this, releasing on May the 4th, Star Wars Day. Uh, so, yeah, I can't wait to check this out. So let me know what you guys think. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And until my next video, guys, take care. And God bless.